Do I look like a washer or do I look like a dryer? <laughs> you better leave the comedy to your son, apparently. He is actually pretty funny. I have noticed that the Midwestern sense of humor is not on par, not quite as sharp as the, uh, as the Oregon sense of humor. Well, we can make good, clean humor. We don't have to bite into someone else. Ah, that is true. And uh, you use a fair amount of puns we as like well, them. which we don't use at all. Yes. For good reason. <gasps> anyway, this is... West Coast guy. We learned, so when we first started out, when we married, we were, we were poor. Kind of. Poorish. So there was a, we had a lot of um, uh, there was a lot of Craigslist finds, and so we bought our first washer and dryer secondhand. Right, right. Just well, the old. Our, our current one. Well, we've got two sets now, but our my favorite one is. Used. So the old school, yeah. you know the West whatever they were, you know the top mount white, had no electronics, the buttons, and we still have them. Yeah. Right, they're in the basement of the old place. So you know we kind of got sucked into the, you, you know, you go to Home Depot and you see these big, beautiful ones with the glass and the front doors. Oh, and they're doors, red. And they're, they're all silver, colors, right? They're gorgeous. So when it was time to get a, a new one, we, we bought a pair of those. And high efficiency, remember all of that the guy was telling us? Well, as I said in yesterday's video, high efficiency is another way to say, does, does, it, clean? does it clean very <laughs> good, right? Because they don't use any water, and they also temper the water temperature. So the water, you may have 120 degrees coming out of your hot water heater, but it tempers it, so it might be 90 degrees going into the washer. Not to mention that they don't use very much water. Well, and my understanding is that with today's detergents, you don't need it quite as hot. But when you do need it hot, then you want it hot. You want the option, right? You want the option, yeah. So when we end up getting one of these, and of course it uses a little bit of water, and Mrs. Debbie's constantly saying, it just doesn't, it's not cleaning very good, right? So we're not having those, any, not to mention when the computer goes out, and heaven help you, you might as well just throw the thing away, right? Although, I mean, the ones we have, they work fine, but. I know they can make things better, because when my granddad, there was a contest, this was a few years ago, um, the power company sent a letter out and said, so if you have an old refrigerator, um, we're doing a contest because they're trying to get the old inefficient ones off the market. They want everyone to buy the low energy yield right. ones, right? right. Uh, right. They, anyway, there was, a, there was incentive. There was a cash prize for whoever could have, show the oldest one. Right. Well, my granddad had one that it was as there as long as I knew it. It was from the 40s. It was a little round one and he kept it out in the garage and he kept soda pop in it for the kids and a little bit overflow. Well, they came out and uh, took it and told him, well, sorry, there was actually a guy that had one older than yours. So some, right. another World War II vet, right? They cut the cord off of it and took it. And that thing sat there running since the 40s up until, what was it? Maybe less than what? 10 years ago. 10 years ago? Yeah. So I know they can do it. So I got to digging around and I found, I, first thing I was going to do was I was going to buy, I went like, okay, who makes, the, who makes washers for the, the laundry mats? Right? Because I know those things are built like iron. I mean, look how they're abused. College kids and people, like, people used to go in there and, like, wash horse blankets. Right? Be fur. You used them, right? Like, they would wash their horse. <laughs> you wash their horse. Yeah. They're like, oh, there's mortar on these bricks. And they don't put them in there. So I knew, like, oh, so, so Speed Queen. Speed Queen was the name that came up for that. So I got to searching around and they make old school washer and dryers. And I'm a knob person. I don't like no that digital electro interface. Uh, no electronics. Yeah, but, exactly. I, but I don't like power windows in a car either. <laughs> Mrs. Debbie's first car. <laughs> I've told this story before. It was so bad. It was so bad that when we used to it drive was, around in it, it had no power steering. She had huge, like, you look like a, an NBA player with <laughs> big softballs on your shoulders. We used to drive around, we'd have to go to like North Portland and try to find cars worse than hers, that, which you almost couldn't, couldn't find. Yeah, it was pretty bad. Yeah, it was so bad that her... But it ran. Her, it ran. Your employer actually did it. <coughs> uh, you might want to think about upgrading your car. You're starting to bring the rent down around here with this thing. Uh, anyway, so we, found, um, so we found the old school one, knobs, no... Water tempering, you get the full temperature comes out. No conservation, 40 gallons, baby. You get, you get, you could control it. And you can open the lid when it's spinning, which the other ones you can't do a lot. So, should we go look at them? Yeah! All right, I, I'm, I'm, I'm more excited than you are. 
this is why my husband has a YouTube channel and I do not, because I would tell you in two seconds that I got a new washer and dryer and he can give you stories and stories and stories. I love it. It is a gift I do not have. It's a gift I got from my grandmother. <laughs> Nana. <laughs> That's why you like the glittery stuff too. She's like the bedazzled chichetti queen. <laughs> <laughs> right, the friends call me. So he's coming in with a story. Get out of here. What I'll, about, I'll tell, what I'll tell you. Let's, let's, go, let's go see what we got. There are a lot of options. You can get white or you can get white. <laughs> <laughs> no, no computers for us, huh? Old school. I, oh, goodness. We almost got a new camera there. Hey, don't forget. Don't forget. Hey, you guys be careful. My $1,500 a month private health insurance has a $10,000 deductible. No, I have like a $15,000. $15,000, <laughs> yeah, great. Thank you. Thank you, Obama. Hey, now. Well, at least we don't go to jail now if we don't pay it. Ow! Ow! Okay. Oh! <laughs> I, I didn't see that happen. Okay. I don't see what happened. Blood. You, I think you're politically motivated in your... Oh my goodness, everyone is at this time. When it hits the pocketbook, everyone becomes a conservative. Your mother just pointed out this, this may have not been my best idea. Can I find my bed now? This is not really your bed. I was just joking. This is Mama's washing machine. She's going to wash your dirty clothes that you get from jumping in muddy puddles. All right, just get it kind of close and then we'll just rotate it in. I'll show you how to hook everything up. Go ahead and take it down. I'll hold this. You just stick that in and put your foot on the wheel so it doesn't roll backwards. Papa, can I try this again? Yeah, let us get it in position then we can do it. Set this one down right. See so if we clear the door right here, and then I'll have you put the pigtail on, and I'll go grab the hardware store and grab a uh, that too. Oh, do you want me to run it down there? Um, no, I'm good. I go and get it quick in and out. Uh huh. This inspection plate right here. Oh. Open this up right there. That'll be eight millimeter. Okay. And the instructions is it'll show you which lead goes to which color. Mm -hmm. Hook those up. And have it all ready, and then we'll uh, I'll double check it when I come back, and then we'll plug it in. Okay. Looks like we got the right one. It's two forty. So just so you know, hot one one twenty one twenty, the one twenty one twenty neutral ground. So the black and red, the ones that go to hot. So Jack's going through the manual. I'm going to have him hook up the electrical. Uh, we had the option to go with gas or, or propane or electrical dryer, but. Living in the Pacific Northwest with an abundance of hydroelectricity, our power is actually really cheap here. Um, plus, I just don't like to deal with a pilot light and all that nonsense. So, uh, we went with electrical, electric. Uh, so, when you're putting these, the dryer's a little bit different. Uh, you have uh, more voltage. You have a 240, so, and of course, nothing standardized, so you have to make sure you have the right plug. So, before you buy, uh, make sure you take a picture of that plug right there. And then the guy at uh, the hardware store can help you match it up because there's a whole bunch of different varieties of these. I don't know. You never tell me what we're doing. You you know, you have a plan, and then you I jump know. in and you expect me to be professional, and here I am, just your wife. There is no plan. Most of the videos that I upload for you guys are shot the very same day, so they're pretty much real time. I I'm not a very good planner. I'm like, I'm, I'm like you. So I got Mrs. W's washer and dryer uh, put in and as you guys guessed, yes, of course we went with the Speed Queen. Speed Queen makes the old school washer and dryer that uh, we all grew up with and know and love, right? No super high efficiency, uh, no, uh, none of that nonsense. Just is simple and works good. We, now I, it's so easy that even I can use it. I actually did my own laundry for the first time yesterday. I washed them socks. <laughs> What do you think of it? Do you like it? I think it's great. I love knobs. I don't like the digital interfaces because they never work and you're pushing and pushing and pushing. The and worst. And the top loaders don't stink. Yeah, right. So let me bring, let me bring up close. You can show the controls and uh, tell everyone why you like them. And um, can I tell them what my next video idea is? Sure. 
Did you notice that my little laundry baskets fit uh, perfectly yes, I see. over here? I see. I just got and done building one of those in the old house, didn't that's I? That's right. And this, I bet we could fit three of them in and it would be a great way to sort laundry. We can get on that. <laughs> All right. Because I knew you just wanted one more thing to do. Let's come off the mothership here. All right. How's it work? Um, hot, warm, cool, cold, four temps, small, large, autofill, autofill with extra rinse. Has it come to this that we're doing videos on washers and dryers now? <laughs> Haven't we always? I, think, I remember when I was down below a, like a dryer that we were bringing to the basement and everyone's like, you got a boob, you got a boob. And I had already, everything worked out pretty fine. Otherwise it would have been a really exciting video, but it was again, a washer and dryer video. Anyway, because that is our life. I was, I was telling <laughs> we get out here really excited. I'm like, a new washer, a new dryer. I was talking to my mom this morning and, and she was asked, did you get your washer and dryer? And I said, yeah, we bought the, Commercial styles like does it have the coin operated machine? <laughs> like no, but that would have been cool. Huh? <laughs> no, 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 because we have a teen boy and his clothes would never get washed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we've we've only had it for a couple of days, but they're they're just awesome. You got the buzzer, simple, lots of water, everything gets clean, um, durable, USA made. I mean, not, this is not a product endorsement. I just did a bunch of research on it. And these things just have a cult-like following. People just love them for that simplicity. So getting back to basics with the laundry. All right, well, thanks for watching everyone. We're gonna head back. I'll take you out to the shop in the next video. We've had a lot of progress on that, but I am heading back to the old homestead to get another load and a dog. We are officially moving in. So what about the chickens? Chickens will come over tomorrow. Okay, great. All right, we'll see you guys over in the next video.